Good evening. Member for Davidson, Jonathan O'Day, MP. Our school chairman, Mr. Wolfers. Headmaster, Mr. Wilcock. Teachers, parents, and fellow students. I would like to start with a warning. My dad helped me with the jokes. <laughs> While I was writing this speech, I recalled many memories of the school. Some so deep, they made me cry. So this is not a, an advertisement for John Collette, but it is the truth about how amazing this part of my life has been. I love my job at this great school, because as head boy, I always get to show my favorite school value, service. We all do this in many ways, whether it's helping a child who fell down or just holding a door open. Helping others will always be a massive part of this school. Stillness. I found this one to be particularly hard. Probably the same for all boys. So thank you, Mrs. Tomiski, for being so patient with us. Truthfulness. What I just said about stillness was true, but seriously. John Collette gives us all a safe place to be true to ourselves and others. Courage. We can see courage in our friendships. My friend Marnix and I have met many challenges together over the years and have supported each other through good times and bad since year two. Respect. Our former headmaster, Mr. Main, cherished this value, showing us the respect, how to respect each other and ourselves. He also taught us that we deserve respect as children. When I think of respect, I will always think of Mr. Main. Now, this wouldn't be a head boy speech if I didn't thank my wonderful teachers, Mrs. Tefe, Miss Jackson, and Mrs. Tomiski. Mrs. Tefe taught me to push my limits and open up my mind. Mrs. Miss Jackson taught me that reading is actually fun. It took me eight years to learn that. <laughs> and Mrs. Tomiski, you taught me to use my imagination. This is the favorite skill I, I have learned here. Now, I would like to thank my art, music, sport, and extension teachers. Thank you, Mrs. Fox and Mrs. Alcorn, for teaching me the many techniques of art. Thank you, Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Rankin. Now, I will never love the recorder, but I must thank you for at least making me okay at it. My mom thanks you so very much. <laughs> thank you, all our sports teachers, especially Mr. Rosen, for teaching me the many rules of many sports. Special thanks to Mrs. Gatsby for always answering my endless questions, and Mrs. Crewe for listening to me rant and repetitively sing, along with my brother, that song, Do You Like Pina Coladas? <laughs> and a big thank you to Mrs. Tomiski for helping me to focus. Mrs. Tomiski, you're an amazing teacher. Every even when your son Harvey is sick, you always come to school with a smile. So on the behalf of sixth class, I'd like to thank you so very much. Now let's go back to the very beginning. On my orientation day at John Collett in Law First, I was so upset I cried. But I walked into the classroom and met Ryan, Michael and Nicholas, who became my great friends. After that, the school was just a big play date. This school welcomed me with open arms as it does with every Law First student. From my first day in Law First, I wanted to be head boy. When I got, finally got elected, I knew I had big shoes to fill. This has been a great year as part of the leadership team. We welcomed the new buddies and their parents on the first day and helped with information mornings and evenings, the Premier's visit, and let's not forget the Board of Governors night. Now, Mrs. James, office ladies, and Mr. Aldo, where would the school be without you? You organize everything, thank you. I would like to say how great it is to work with Mr. Wilcock. He is kind, supportive, and contains all the values you look for in a headmaster. All that is but one. This value, I think, is very important in a headmaster. The problem is, he tells bad jokes. <laughs> now, Mrs. McKendrick and Mrs. Donald, thank you. You have been here since before day one. This school will always be grateful to you. Good luck for the next step in life. Now to my buddies. We year sixes can get a little bit high and mighty, and, but buddies, you always bring us back down to earth. I would especially like to thank Jude, Augustus, and Johan. You guys always turn my frowns upside down. Lastly, I need to thank those other people, the most special people in the whole school, my class. You guys are debaters, singers, actors, athletes, 
dancers, and much more. You are the best class anyone could wish for. We have become so close, almost like family. We, we always are supporting, caring, and helping each other. Good luck, and thank you, other office bearers, because as Mrs. Tomiski says, there's no I in team. I would like to congratulate and wish luck to my predecessor, the next head boy. Now, remember, be head boy in your own way. There's no set way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last year Donald Trump and I got elected to high office. And I have been inspired to make school great again. But at John Collette, this has been hard. How do you make a perfect school greater? There is no other school like it. I'll never forget this place. Thank you, John Collette, for my wonderful friends, memories, and students. Thank you, thank you very much. I would like... I would like to welcome onto the stage John Collett's head girl for 2017, Marley Kennedy Jewell.